Meet my guy friend, Matthew. He's an entrepreneur, currently taking a gap year from college to focus on his multiple businesses. From my understanding, all he does each day is work. I've worked since about 8.30. It doesn't feel like that though. I'm very curious what Matthew is up to today. I guess I will see once I see his footage. Roll over, Charlie. Look at Matthew starting his day strong, making the bed, making some coffee, getting his vitamins in. What a productive guy. How's it going, everybody? My name is Matthew. I am a friend of Annie's. I'm also a fellow YouTuber, and I cover things like stocks and investing. And I also am running two other businesses called Essentialize and Members. So this is my first time vlogging, so give me a little bit of a break here, but I'm super excited to share what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. We're starting off the day with some to-do lists here, as you can see me putting them down, checking what I have to do on the computer. And to be an amazing vlogger just like Annie, I was told to talk a little bit about how I feel about what I'm doing. So to-do lists are just an amazing way to make sure that if you have so much stuff going on, you know what to focus on at any given point in time, whether it's a point of the week or the day. And then I take the next things that need to be done in the next couple of days, put them on to-do list, and then once this one gets busy and starts getting crossed out and circled and everything, I create a new one, and then we put it onto the whiteboard, which is where we'll go next. Matthew's YouTube channel is everything stocks and investing, so if you're into finance, I definitely recommend that y'all check it out. I have church in like an hour, but before going to church, I just really want to get the stuff I have to do in order, because I was going to the trap of like not checking my to-do list because it makes me stress a lot of the time but then it's like really stressful if i only look at it every few days because i'm just not like aware of what's really going on right now i'm gonna text my editor because i want to do like, a real-time edit with me like edit session with her because we're gonna be changing our workflow up a bit because recently i have been editing videos more being part of the creative process so then it's like how do we both do that together collaboratively monday can't have meetings i actually do have a meeting on monday i'm not really following that <laughs> like tuesday 7 p.m but I also have Tess. Mm. Matthew's YouTube channel is all about stocks and investing. I personally... My parents told me that my prior outfit looked like a hippie. So I have changed. I erased some stuff here because some things were accomplished, which is awesome. So these are the weekly initiatives that we focus on. For example, finishing the course, pricing, creators, podcast. This is the overarching stuff that I'm working on. Members, essentialize, and investor community are three businesses. And then there's the YouTube channel and personal stuff. And then this is what I have to do daily. So, all right, so the first thing we gotta do is actually make a video. Then we have a call at 12, so we gotta get working. Friends, so I'm having my usual daily dilemmas and I've decided to journal about them. I would say that I'm very in touch with and aware of my problems and I've tried to go about them in a very logical way. Like the other day I tried this exercise where I just wrote down in my journal all the problems that I'm having and then I wrote down like desired outcomes for those problems and also possible solutions and actual ways I can implement solutions in the following week. It's a very like corporate business way to look at personal life problems. I found it to be like 92% helpful but I kind of got into this hopeless loop where I realized some of my problems are just very deeply emotional and I can't necessarily go about it in a very logical way of solving it and like implementing these specific habits. I'm also just very happy to be writing because for a while I feel like I kind of started hating journaling. I, I stopped enjoying journaling because I was just like thoughts are racing through my mind so quickly I can more easily capture that if I type on my computer or I just talk to the camera. But I think there is kind of something really nice about how slow journaling is so i think going back to the simple analog things is key all right so i just finished writing a good portion of the script and engaging with some of the members of the investor community on discord and also made some moves in the stock market today but next i got a meeting at 12 30 that i'm two minutes late to actually that's gonna start right now with the team at members which is another company that i'm working on History readings. I am trying to stop having caffeine and I decreased my caffeine by like 20% today and it's literally affecting me so bad. Oh my gosh. I bet Matthew's like working on one of his companies right now and I'm napping. 
All right, so it's about five o'clock now. I'm gonna get to record my video. Hopefully I can get this filmed and edited before my 6 p.m. meeting. But this is the fun part of YouTube, getting to record and kind of share your work. And it's just very rewarding to see it all come together. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe. We're done. All right, so I'm not quite done editing this yet. So I have to hop into another meeting. To be honest, I'm probably going to be editing while I'm in the meeting. So let's- I think right now I just need to change my physiological state. So I'll see you at the gym. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Shake Shack. Well guys, I'm sorry it hasn't been a super adventurous day in the life here, but this is pretty accurate to what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. It is a lot of time in the office working on things because that's what I love to do. Also, it's the winter and I'm from California and I'm currently in Boston. And Boston is cold as heck right now, so kind of hard for me to go outside. But yeah, if at the end of the day, you know, I learned something or I moved the needle on one of the projects I'm working on or I was able to connect with someone in the Discord and share value, then that's a day well spent and that's something that I derive enjoyment from. But yeah, so I'm gonna reward myself a little bit with some Shake Shack, but the day is not over yet. I still have two more meetings later tonight, one at 9 p.m., one at 10 p.m. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of meetings. I've worked since about 8.30. It doesn't feel like that though, because it's fun. Anyways, I'm gonna dig in. The upload just finished. Now I'm gonna put that up and post it and see how it does. Ironically enough, I actually have a call with Matthew right now. It's my last thing that I'm gonna be doing today. I always get super stressed like when I have any type of like real time meeting with someone because like I feel like I have to be there right on the dot. Like if I have a call at 8 p.m., I will literally like at 7.59, I'm like, okay, like right when it's at eight, like zero seconds, I need to be there. Hey. Hey, hey, how's it going? This collab idea-ish sort of thing. <laughs> Let's hear about it. All right guys, so that is the last call of the day. It is now 11.45 p.m. and I think that's it. So thank you guys for being on this journey with me throughout the day. Sorry we didn't really leave this office much except for the morning. Sometimes you just have days like these where you gotta get a lot of work done. And again, do what you derive happiness from. So hopefully you guys can find something similar. I'll see you in the next time. Peace. Hi friends. So Matthew actually did record a little bit after the end of his work day. He ended up blowing up some balloons and laying out some flower petals to ask a girl to be his girlfriend. And she said yes. If you're looking for a makeup remover, I literally got one for you. It's a pharmacy, a very cherry clean. There is the pharmacy green clean that I recommend as well. They're pretty much the same things, just different flavors, scents. It literally gets your makeup off so well. I think tonight I'm just gonna like unwind by reading. I've kind of been in a reading rut where I can't get through a book from point A to point B like in a linear fashion. What I mean by this is I feel like I'm reading like 12 books right now, but I just am not finishing any of them. I think it's just because I'm like constantly like, oh, there's like another book to read. There's another thing to learn. But then I just end up reading so many mul like multiple books. So I'm going to try to discipline myself to read like a historical fiction book today, not a business one. If you guys enjoyed this video, you will love my video where I switched morning routines with one of my guy friends, Owen. So go watch that video right after this one. <laughs>